Hey guys, this is James. Welcome back to our web design tutorial series on how to build a website for beginners. Now this is part two on how to build a website for beginners. In part one, we purchased a domain and hosting for our new website. This is going to be a short video which shows you how to access your control panel, which is where you're going to uh, perform a lot of functions on your website, like create custom email addresses, uh, change your file manager, create databases, and also uh, install WordPress to start building our new website. Now, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail on the different functions of the cPanel. However, I am going to point them out and just show you how to access it. So, let's begin. Step one to accessing your control panel is go back to the uh, confirmation email that HostGator sent you with your account information. Now, as you can see, your, there's a link to accessing your control panel along with your username, domain, and password. So this is where you're going to get the username and password to access your control panel. Let's go ahead and click the link to our control panel, which is in the email. Now it's going to bring up uh, this page from HostGator, which is our cPanel login. Now I have a program that I use called LastPass, which you can download for free. Now uh, it stores all my usernames and passwords for me, so I'm just going to click log in. However, if this is the first time that you've logged into your control panel, you're just going to get that information from the email that we showed you a minute ago. Let's go ahead and click log in. So this is the HostGator control panel. Now, as you know, or as I've said before, uh, the, abbrevi the abbreviation or a common name is cPanel but it stands for control panel. Now, this is going to be the area where you control a lot of the primary functions uh, of your website and your domain. Now, like I said, I'm not gonna go into great detail. However, I will just briefly outline you know, the different functions of cPanel. Let's start by scrolling down. Um, one of the first important things or, or locations that you'll see is this HostGator links. It has links to your billing system, domain management, and account add-ons, as well as live chat support. So if you need to make any changes to your domain or billing, you can click those right there. Scrolling down a little bit more, you can also uh, change your password for the login or update your contact information. Scrolling down further, we have the mail section. Now this is going to be where you create custom email addresses for your new domain. So. I think I'm on the uh, mydailyevolution.com cPanel right now. So let's say I wanted to create an email address called james at mydailyevolution.com. This is the section that I would go to in order to create that email address. Now in another video, I'll show you how to create custom email addresses, how to check your email, and also how to link it to Gmail accounts or your uh, Android or iPhone or something like that. Scrolling down further, you see a section called Files. Now this is going to be your file manager and um, FTP accounts. That is uh, for more advanced users, and that's how you're going to manually uh, upload things to your website. I'll make a video on that in the future. Uh, scrolling down some more, an important section is going to be under Domains, Subdomains, Add-on Domains, part domains or redirects, and also your DNS editor. If you're just getting started, that stuff probably isn't going to make any sense, but once again, I'll explain that in further detail later. Right below your domain section, you have your database section, which is very important, but right now, you know, like I said, you know, we really don't need to talk about that. Below here where it says software or services, this is going to be what I'm talking about in the next video when I show you how to install WordPress on your new uh, domain and start building your website. So anyways guys, this was just a quick tutorial showing you how to access your control panel and briefly uh, going over the different functions of control panel. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to install WordPress on your domain to start building your website. Be sure to subscribe for more video tutorials on internet marketing, web design, building websites, how to make money online, and other awesome videos like that. See you soon.